All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds, where today we are continuing on with a Paralon Gorgon DLC, and are not quite where I said I would take us in the last episode, because I'm dumb. Basically, like, immediately after finishing the last episode, I did what I said I'd do. Went around, looted all the stuff, went back down the elevator, and then noticed... Oh, it's telling me to go back upstairs. I, I forgot we actually have to turn on the generator towers. We only activated the one thing here and not the other things there and there. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're back where we were. And, uh, yeah, just got to... Ooh, hey, I actually missed these. I didn't go up this path. Nice. Flip that up. Excellent. And then on over to the other side before finally going back to the guy and get Jasper Lowe's credentials or whatever the crap we need from him. And some more glorious lore. Perfect. Perfect. It's powerfully restored now. Now can I go back downstairs? Oh, wait, no, back to turbine control. Back to turbine control now. Okay, yeah, pay attention to quest markers. <laughs> Activate! Beautiful. Now we can go downstairs. I that every day, Captain. I mean, that is that is true. I didn't see it fully activating because I turned to listen to Ellie, but cool. Cool. Nice power solution. I like it. Okay, well, let's head back downstairs and have a little chat with Jasper. That was fun. Oh, hey, those things on the, the tubes are lit up now. Awesome. I, I had just come back up the elevator from the previous episode and noticed that they were all empty. So, yeah, that's the only reason I recognize that. But, yeah, yeah, leave it to me to uh, not pay attention to things going on in the world. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, now we can head back to him. He'll be happy because he has power. I mean, everyone else in here is still dead. Can I get in here now? Aw, oh, come on! He gave me a key card that we use for the other thing. Why can't I use it for that door? Well, at least we got this. Did I ever? I did not. Oh my god! I'm taking off his energy drink and his tobacco horn ears. I never loaded this room. I was. We were so busy. No, god, 150. I wonder what's in there. The Hi! Facilities back on the grid, and my pipes again floweth with the sweet, sweet essence of my salvation. They do, Jasper. Now, time to keep up your end of the bargain. I suppose I have you to thank for realigning the machine. Uh-huh. Of course, of course, Jasper, you imbecile. Yes, yes. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask him to concentrate. Jasper, I'd like you to, to ask you to concentrate here. Right. Yes, of course. You'll need my voice to get into the chem lab. Uh-huh. I'm obviously not coming with you, so Fair. I'm giving you a recording of my dulcet speech. This recording should get you into the chem lab. I hope whatever you're after is worth the trauma. I wouldn't go back there if I was higher than the mercury levels in a can of salt tuna. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Wait. Take my gun while you're at it. Ooh. If you end up dying on Gorgon, there's a non-zero chance I'll feel partially responsible. Neither of us want that. Fair, fair, fair. So... No, no, I'm not giving anyone Adrena time. What are you thinking, character? You know, with the security of the cam lab, you know the place better than anyone. Die, perhaps? I Auto mechanical not. sentries are generally programmed to ignore corpses. Oh. I don't like the idea of going back to that place, to that life. Yes, I know it's not me risking my throat gallivanting around Gorgon. It's you, for whatever madcap reasons you've got. I've helped you once, and I don't feel great about it. Uh -huh. I made a clean break from Gorgon, and now it feels like you're asking me to tether myself back to that place. All right, oh, well, we do have Persuasion 100. Jasper, let me worry about Gorgon. Helping me could help you move on. I suppose you've got a point, or something resembling a point. I'm emotionally addled right now, and I'm allowing my sentiments to get the better of me. Excellent. Here, my personal security key card. Oh, thank you. There's a hallway near the processing room. It leads to a security terminal. Use this key card to unlock the hallway and disable security. Awesome. I am never going to remember that though. So God, hallway near the processing room, security terminal, hall, oh God, I'm going to forget that. So I'm gonna ask you about Even this. Even if I wanted to talk about Project Gorgon, I couldn't. 
All my memories of Gorgon are intact, but they're in disarray. Like a book with its pages shuffled. Oh. Making sense of those memories requires clarity of mind. Clarity that only Sky High gives me. Oy. To tell you everything I know, I'd have to be dangerously euphoric. I... Uh, uh... Why would we want to know the formula for Adrena time? Parvati didn't like us last time telling him to, you know, take a hit, so I'm not going to go there this time. But I'm curious where this goes. Why would we want to know this? Surely you jest. Even were I inclined to teach you, which I am not, you wouldn't be able to replicate an alternative to Compound X. Compound X? The compound is derived from the metabolic waste of xenocytes, a microbial life form growing beneath the surface of Gorgon. Oh. However, they're accursedly sensitive to their ecosystem. Oh, also, isn't Compound X the thing that made the Powerpuff Girls? I mean, I haven't seen that show in years, but... Wasn't that it? Hmm. Uh, Science 65 can't get them off world, eh? Exactly. When Project Gorgon was active, corporate's varied attempts to port xenocytes off world killed them. Every time. Uh. And even were one able to cultivate xenocytes in a petri dish, they'd need millions to refine even a dash of the compound. We mined immense amounts of Compound X directly from subterranean caverns in Gorgon. So you see, there is no Adrena time without Project Gorgon. Oh, thank God. All right. Well, I'm out then. Later, Jasper. It's been fun. Ooh, hey, more stuff I haven't looted. Also, what was this gun he gave us? Ah, uh, hello. <gasps> it's a science weapon. I saw it for a brief moment. <gasps> Employee benefits. This experimental device was created to keep employees on their feet, regardless of how much pain or exhaustion they may be experiencing. As all good workers know, unconsciousness is just another word for wage theft. Oh, Jesus, the, this world. All right, what, what is this? I mean, I'm charging it. What is it gonna do? What? What does it do? Ellie, hold still. Hey. Oh. Also, did I say Ellie holds still? I meant Burr body holds still. Uh, huh. I don't know what this does, but I want to try it on something. Okay, okay. Well, let's get the crap out of here. And before we do leave... All right, yeah, so that leads us down, back down to where we started. I want to go back to that elevator and see where that takes us. So we didn't end up taking that last time. Where is it? Over here. Was it over here? Yeah, it was over here. Yeah, right here. Right here. Where does this go? I have a feeling back to where we just were was a different way to get up there, but I didn't see where the actual inch. Oh, it takes us here! Ah, uh, well, no one living to test this on here. Or robotic. I mean, I just don't know what it does. I mean, en energy. Well, it's energy magazines. What does it do? Ellie? I... I don't know what it does. <laughs> its description is not very good. It just says, keep them on their feet. Does that mean it heals my companions? Or does it... Wait, hold on a moment. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, wait, wait. No, I need to, I need to move some things around here. There we go. Ellie, hold still. Oh, we're not in combat, so she can't take damage. Oh. I was wondering if it would heal her. All right. Well, let's go back to the ship. And also see if that receptionist lady is in is on the ship now. Because we still don't have, like, a miscellaneous side quest to take her to... Where did she want to go again? I don't remember. Oh, Groundbreaker, wasn't it? Yeah, I think she wanted to go to the Groundbreaker. Huh. Huh. We'll check, we'll check our quest list when we get in, but let's actually see if she's around the place. She said she'd shove herself into a cargo container. Uh, no, that's that. Weapons from the void. Get the HIA facility, and we'll do the chem lab first. 
Yeah, no, there's no miscellaneous quest for this. Let's see if she's in here somewhere. <gasps> she is! <gasps> Hi! This change of scenery sure is something. Can't wait to see the groundbreaker. Okay. You know what? Why not? I'm intrigued to see where this is going to go. Let's take her to the groundbreaker real quick. Uh, groundbreaker. Docking bay. Perfect. Just a slight little detour. Let's see if we can interact with her and be like, yo. The groundbreaker. She's still here? She's not here? Unless she's off the ship now, now that we've come here. Wait, hold on. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Around the ship we go. Is she in my room? Nope. Nothing up here. No, it's the vicar. All right, yeah, I think she's off the ship now. Everyone else on board is McCrew. Even that blasted robot. Unless she's in the bathroom. Nope. Okay, okay, well, yeah, let's go outside. I'm, I'm curious to see if she'll, like, talk to us or something. We can be like, oh, hi, yo, I helped you. Let's find out. Usual crew. Hey, Archibald Excelsior Ace Exterminator! <laughs> that was a weird quest. I liked it. I liked it. And that weapon is now sitting in my chest in my quarters because even if I tweaked it, it wouldn't be as good as the the weapon that Parvati already carries. Is she here? Oh, I don't see her anywhere obvious. And I don't want to, like, venture around. I'm sure we could probably find her somewhere. But, yeah, I don't see her. Aww. I was hoping we could have a conversation. She'd be like, oh, thank you. Oh, my God, you got me here. But, no. All right, back we go. And to Gorgon once again, and to the Ken Labs, where things should be sufficiently respawned by now, so we can probably test out this gun to see if it actually does damage to people. I have no idea still what it is. Alright, Gorgon landing pad. Thank you, Ada. And out. Usual crew. Borst worst. It's not the worst unless it's Borst worst. <laughs> God, that poor sissy pig just looks horrifying. It's just so wrong. So very wrong. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, let's see how this all goes. And, oh, God. I was just trying to think to myself, where where do we go for the security again? I was trying to remind myself, and I don't. I already don't remember. All right. Well, over to... Okay, which one was Chem Lab? Chem Lab. There we go. Boom. Let's go shoot something with this pistol. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. I think it's probably going to heal something. This is something. so exciting. I know. I've never seen a voice lock in action before. Ha. Have Guess you we're going to have to listen to this Jasper guy one last time. Indeed. Indeed. But first, I see red. I need to know. Okay. Yeah, no, it's maybe out of range. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, no, it is a weapon. It is, in fact, a weapon. Oh, boy. Which uses its charge even when you don't do anything. Oh, hi! Okay, yeah, I think it heals our people because, uh... Well, they're hurt! Let's find out! And Parvati! Parvati! I have no idea she's down! Parvati! It is! It's healing her! Oh, my God! Not very well, though. Not very well. Okay, let's... Yeah, I'm never going to use that because I'm awful at shooting those things. That's cool, though. A healing weapon. I like that. Back to special delivery. Because, you know, need to kill everything. Oh, God. Okay, okay. Need to jump down here. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fire! I am acidified everywhere. Oh boy, that was a bad move deciding to fight those without a proper weapon on my hands. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, run! I'm stuck on a thing. Die. Okay. Hit him. Hit him good. He's he's down. There's nothing behind me. Lovely. 
Where are they? Where are they? Wait, what? What? Are they all dead? What? Did they all die when you killed the big one? Wait, what? Because I definitely did not kill all those, but we live. So yeah, that thing is a healing item. And yeah, we can probably use it again right now since they're uh, standing still and you know, still damaged. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. I will never use it again, though. Neat, though. Neat. All right, let's reload that. Put it away and up to the lock. <laughs> All right, let's get into the chem lab. What are we even doing in the chem lab, though? I mean, besides, let's see, access the chem lab, find the entrance, use the phonograph. I know we've got in the lab storage room one of the phonographs. But all right, let's do this thing. This facility is currently experiencing a heightened security of Yeah, don't say. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Got it. Please speak the passphrase. Jasper, you better not screw me here. Play the tape! We attest to the zest with our hand on our chest. Be impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. What? The that balls. Phrase accepted. Access granted. That well, was weird. Dr. Jasper Lowe. <laughs> Ladies, any comments on that weirdness? No? No? All right, well, in we go. Hold! Why do I never remember to hold? Out of all the times we play this game, I never remember to hold. <laughs> never hold E. Oh, everything else is just happy except for going into a new zone. And it's hold, and I never remember that. Access the chem lab. All right, what's our updated mission now here? Experiment perilous. Unlock security office hall. Sent, send the override authorization. All right, so does the map show us the... Additional thing? Oh god. Oh god. I have no idea where, where that's gonna be. Well, it's almost we're... hard to believe oh. something so awful as Adrena time came from a place that looks so normal. I mean normal aside from the bodies, I yeah. mean. And the blood. Mm-hmm. Oh, so much blood. I mean not really. Okay, never mind. I am st oh, I'm st I'm standing on a corpse. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't take the Adrena time too. All right, I'll never use it, but I'll sell it. <laughs> oh, hello, things. Oh God, yeah. Where are we gonna go for the freaking security checkpoint? I have no idea. But terminal. All right, urgent notification. Brought to you by Space Choice Automated Subversive Behavior Notification System. Please be informed that one or more of the following high priority conditions are likely to be active in your office or workplace. Escape primals, unlawful discussion of subversive cultural material, extended and unauthorized breaks. Uh, please notify your supervisor immediately if you are the designated supervisor of this workplace. The message constitutes your official notification. This is an automated response. Please do not respond directly to this message. All right, messages. What do we got here? Uh, from low corrective measures. I've been taking your messages at my terminal, like you said, or like you asked. This one's from management, though. Please take a look at this. I could get in trouble for deleting it. Dr. Law, I speak for everyone at the OCI when I express my disappointment in your work ethic. The quality of Compound X harvested and enriched at your laboratory falls well below Spacer's Choice standards. Spacer's Choice has standards? Could have fooled me. It is my professional opinion that the quality of one's work reflects the quality of one's spirit. Lazy workers deliver lazy work. Round up your researchers. Fire one in ten. I expect you and your remaining researchers to deliver the next batch of chemicals uh, to HIA under an accelerated timetable. These measures may seem punitive, even harsh. They are. I'm instilling discipline in your team. One day, I'd like to imagine you'll thank me. Respectfully, Lawrence Goodfellow, manager. Work fortifies the spirit. Hmm. All right. Jasper. 
I know you told me not to bother you when you're working, but I'm running out of options. I understand you're busy, so I've boiled down my list of concerns into simple yes-no questions. Just respond with Y or N. Did you read Goodfellow's letter? Am I on the chopping block? Has security talked to you about some type of corporate spy in our ranks? Is there a spy? Did you know Padilla's heart gave out after a 72-hour shift? Are you attending the wake? Oh, Jesus. I've got staff coming to the receptionist's desk looking for answers. What am I supposed to tell them? It's not the best choice. It's the only choice we've got. Are you going to respond? All right. Respect and N. N to all? Or is that to the respond part? <laughs> Lost key. Gee, if I found a key in a locker by the lavatories, the key belongs to Dr. Lowe. Please retrieve the key and return it to him. I'll do it myself, but Dr. Lowe can be pretty paranoid if I show up at his door with a key in hand. He'll assume I stole it in order to fabricate a reason to check up on him. Okay, Lowe is definitely a weird one. There we go. Alright, alright. Well, let's move down the corridor here. Let's see what we got and try and figure out if I can go. Oh, <gasps> override authorization. I can barely hear that voice, but I'm reading the things. I've switched on the laboratory security ah. system. I trust the mechanicals will sort you out. They won't, mysterious figure. Man, so I didn't start playing till I was already out of this room. I thought this place was supposed to be abandoned. I know, right? That's got to be our pal from the OCI, right? Yep. I'm starting to wonder what they're hiding. Lots of things. But, okay, okay. See, so yeah, I wish it wouldn't have started talking before, you know, until after I left the room. That was very annoying. I had to come back in here to actually hear it. But at least I could read it down below. So that mysterious figure guy is all up in our grill now. He's uh, activated the security robots. So we've got to find a way to deactivate them. I mean, we know where to go, kind of. It actually is giving us a waypoint, which is wonderful. Hey, gone quiet. I'm very happy about that. But, eh. But where do we actually need to go? So override security is down there. Security door is there. Oh, so that's... Well, wait. Turn the override authorization. Okay, there's a terminal. Do the override. Unlock the keypad to access. Or key card to access a shortcut through the security office. Let's actually take a look on the map. Look at the other floors. All right. And, ooh, oh, God. All right, so that's the further one. So how do we get... All right, so yeah, we go there, but it looks like we have to go there anyways. Oh, wait, no, there's a thing over, the, a tunnel over that way. So, okay, if we go through there, go around there to there. Hmm. All right, so yeah, straight across to there. Uh, what's over here? Robots. Never mind. All right. Let's... Man, that Marauder didn't do well. Oh, auto mechanicals. You know what? Let's actually be sneaky for a change. Let's be sneaky. We can always come back to loot things later. I mean, I usually do that off camera anyways. That's usually my go-to. <laughs> oh, that's a big and he saws. There Never mind, kill him. Focus all fire on him. There we go, he's down. Parvati, I'm sorry, but you're about to get hit by rockets. Yeah, it does smart, but okay, he's down. All right, I was gonna try and be quiet, but that didn't work. And fire. All right, we got that one over there. Kill him. Parvati, no. All right, she's up again, she's up again. Good, 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 good. All right, gotta kill you. That didn't do anything. All right. Parvati's almost down again. Parvati, how dare you? Stay up. There we go. We're good. Oh, wait. No, there's still one alive somewhere. He's not our problem right now, though. He's not our problem. Well, I tried to be sneaky, and that didn't work on us. <laughs> or for us, rather. 
So yeah, I mean, that seems to be yeah, security door. Also, oh, hi. All right. Well, looks like we gotta go through here. <laughs> Into this. And... Fire! Your best My shot, bitch. asshole! He's still alive! Oh, he's still alive! Nice one. Hit him. And... Hit him. Not bad, huh? Good job, you two. Good job. Oh, he's still alive! Teamwork, people! Teamwork! Perfect. Okay, well, upstairs we go. Yeah, I'll come back for all the loot later. <gasps> Phonograph! The effects of Compound X are inescapable. The uh, refined excrement of the Xenocyte life form. Ew. It's a fine powder. Very fine. It finds its way into absolutely everything. Even in the water now, and the air. It settles like a veil over all of Gorgon. The laboratory techs get the worst of it. Oh. We all appreciated the boost to mood and productivity at first, but we're at each other's throats in an instant now. I've had to break up two fistfights this week alone. This oh, aggression ow. must be inherent to the formula. Yep. The compound X. Ah, stop it. so that's the bit that's making the marauders. All right, cool. Look, terminal, terminal, terminal. Critical update. All right, dear sir and or madam, this is an automated message triggered by the Spacer's Choice Contingency Management Program. Please do not respond to this message. Congratulations, contingency number 77-1. Abundance of raw material is now in effect. Due to a higher than projected volume of compound X harvested in the laboratory, your production quotas have been raised. Oh, Jesus, by 200%. Please bear in mind that bi-weekly quota, review, uh, quota reviews are automatically generated and forwarded to Project Gorgon Administration and the offices of Creative Incubation. Any dereliction in production will be reflected in your review. All right, notes. Not found, memory retrieval fail, corruption. All right, we're open last entry. All right, junior researcher, compound X. Expose compound X samples to NRA concentration for 30 seconds. Consulted research notes and notes incomplete and damaged. Expose compound X samples to concentrated NRAs for 60 seconds. Sample failed. Toxicity levels high. Disposed. Just Dis exposed. Blah, 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 blah. Sample failed. Exposed to lab atmosphere. Toxicity levels high. Disposed. Researchers addendum. Unplanned sabotage event destroyed any relevant research notes. Forced to rely on outdated notes. Expected time loss, 6 to 16 months. Wow, that's a big range. Attempt to replicate research, unsuccessful. We'll try again after resting my eyes for a minute. Okay, okay. Let's go this way. To the security terminal. Alright. Got it. Hey! That was the option. Traps oh, ahead. Trap. Maybe behind, too. Uh... Traps just about everywhere, Captain. Yeah, that seems to be the case, and I can't seem to shoot through that to hit this. Never mind, I can. Can I, like, disable these? Nope, gonna have to jump them. Oh, God. Well, let's put a save in there. <laughs> and. Help! Hole! Oh. Alright, takes a couple of shots. Who hurt themselves? Oh, wait, no, I hurt myself with that mine. Cool. And down. Ooh, stuff. Oh, my God, so many things. All right. Yeah, let's let's try and make it to the security terminal. I'll, yeah, I'll come back for loot again later. I want to do the security thing first. Also, why is everything so fuzzy and getting fuzzier? I thought it was maybe because of that mine, but I would have thought that'd wear off by now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, let's check this terminal first. Is there anything here? Status. Administrative notes. All password protection has been disabled by order of Lawrence Goodfellow. Privacy is a privilege and must be earned. Lift access restriction. Okay. Okay. Reprimand, sure. Auto mechanical status. Still the active. Messages. 
All right. Please explain, Dr. Lou. I'm going to have to take the researcher's side on this one. Your absence during an emergency is conspicuous. I don't want to report you because I don't want corporate auditors scheduling interviews with the entire staff while they're trying to meet deadline. The unplanned sabotage event already halted experimentation and development. We're trying to get our operations running again, and we could use all the help we can get. I'm already down one staff member. St. Germain's gone. You know why. You owe this team an explanation to any number uh, to any number of grievances. Your absence is the most urgent one, but I'll take an explanation as to why there are primals being held in the caverns near our waste disposal site. They're your primals, aren't they? All right, Mr. Tanaka. No, I can't explain the primals. Primals defy exp explanation. They are a miracle of evolutionary adaptation and a treasure trove of interest interesting genetic material. I'm not going to explain my alleged absence either. This is because I'm not absent at all. My presence is implicit in the work of my researchers. The researchers still employed in this department are skilled and more than capable of repairing any damage done by the alleged saboteur. Please don't bother me again with trivial problems. You are the security chief. Stick to securing things, including but not limited to the safety of the lab and my privacy. Warm regards and pleasant uh, felicitations. Wow, he's an ass. Resignation, Dr. Lowe. I just finished filing my official report of the unplanned sabotage event. Unfortunately, filing a report on a sabotage event requires me to also include a list of captured, apprehended, and neutralized saboteurs. Company policy. No list means I'm getting arrested for dereliction of duty and you're getting penalized for hiring me. Saboteurs is plural. I can't include Mr. St. Germain's name and be done with it. As a last resort, I have been forced to include the names of all former employees whose contracts were recently terminated in the decimation. These researchers are no longer part of Project Gorgon and will likely not survive without a job. So I may as well use their names to save our jobs. I filled my report la or filed my report last night and haven't been able to sleep since. This is to let you know that I will be filing for transfer at the end of the next cycle. Wow, this whole place is messed up. All right, where are we going? We're going down here, I guess. Down the hole. Terminal over there. Oh God, there's a lot over here. You know what, we're gonna try and be sneaky again. It's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work, is it? They're still falling over there. You know what, I actually think we made it. So this is where that uppity lab coat worked, huh? Apparently. All right, all right, we're in. We're in. You survived. I did. You are remarkably intent on scuttling my every plan. I am. How inconsiderate. Especially after I've gone to so much effort to see Gorgon rest in peace. And I'm wanting to expose it. Why do you insist on waking it up? Because so Gorgon's been a ruin for years and years. You think they've been here the whole time? Why, possibly? You know, the more they tell us to stop, the more I want to see what they're keeping us from. I know, same. Let's turn off the security and be done with the day. Admin functions. Override the lockdown. There we go. Beautiful. Uh. Center status. It's currently locked. Admin functions. Wait, wait. Messages. Oh boy, we'll look at those. We'll look at those next time. Uh, so we did the thing. I thought we could turn off security. Wait, what? Whoa, Since whoa, whoa. we've been traveling together, we've visited a lot of places that set my teeth on edge. Uh huh. This here makes my skin crawl. As it should. I've seen some reckless operations, but here, it's like they were trying to get people killed. I know, right? Man, something is very wrong. Worse than wrong, Captain. Catastrophic. And a whole lot of ordinary people who trusted them ended up dead. Yep. The folks down here dedicated their lives to fixing Halcyon. They were supposed to be the company's best and brightest. How'd they lose their way? It's this universe's corporate dystopia. Uh, yeah, that's true. You said the space of choice best and brightest <laughs> we're talking about. I mean, that is very true. Uh, you know what? I like this one, though. They were pushed to the impossible by people who weren't accountable. That's the whole point of bureaucracy, isn't it? Yep. I get now why Miss Ambrose would want to clear her mom's name. 
If the folks responsible for Edgewater's woes tried to blame them on my dad, I couldn't have let it stand. All right, all right. And that's why we're helping her, or as long as she shows her gratitude in bits. Eh, let's get the journal before we jump to conclusions. Yeah, I'm pretty sure her mom was involved in the whole thing. She seems... Uh, yeah, yeah. I want to see what else this investigation digs up. Yeah, there we go. All right, and that's going to be it for this one, folks. I thought we could turn off the robots with this, but apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, hey, phonograph. Cool. Oh, yeah, we'll check out that and these notes next time around where we also now have to reach human, uh, human inquiry and auditing. That is our next bit on our little adventure. Uh, we still also do have to find this chem lab storage room. Let's actually check that on the map real quick. Hey, back there. Okay, cool. So we're just around the corner. Excellent. So yeah, we'll make this our default one so we can read the notes and go grab this next time. That's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.